It's not about black. I don't mean to brag, but I'm the greatest. That's because you never saw me. It's not about white. Honey, I'm home. How much money did you make today? I missed you, too. I'm sorry, honey. It's about green. I want to find out how good you are, chump. Come on, hey, Come on, I'm your white shadow. I have a business proposal for you, as if you don't mind hustling. What kind of hustle? <laughs> Hundred dollars, baby, and you can pick my teammate. Give him the chump. You mean play basketball? Hey, pretty man, I got something for you. Shut your anorexic, malnutrition, tapeworm habit, overdose, Dick Gregory, Bahamian diet drinking ass up. Give me my money. I see you hustle. Hey, I never use no goofy white mother. Hey, who you calling goofy white mother? You, you. Five hundred divided by two. Woo! How much do you love me? <laughs> I love you, Infinity. Oh, Billy, you're so stupid. You should have said I love you, Infinity, plus Infinity. We shoot you, Billy, but first we want the money. There are rules to hustling. There's an ethics involved. Yeah, that you wouldn't know a damn thing about. <laughs> <laughs> Will you explain to this Gladys Knight and the pimps? It's pips! The pips! Winning and losing is all one big organic lobule. I hate it when you talk like that. Paco! You got that big Z in your fro, man. What are you, the black Zorro? What are you doing? I'm doing two things. What? I'm making them mad. Most guys don't play good when they're mad. Look, you know you're embarrassing me. That's what you're doing. Yeah, well, that's the other thing I'm doing. I only have four words for you. White men can't jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah! We out the projects, baby. Where we gonna live at, son? Central Park West somewhere? What you gonna buy your mom, son? House. Come on. A big house. It's the will of the man. It ain't the skill of the man. Don't be afraid of nobody. Take it. Take Go it. strong, baby. Like nobody's yes. better than you. You have a son named Jesus Shuttlesworth? Is your son considered the number one high school prospect in these United States? He's awesome, baby, with a capital N. Governor's made a request that your son seriously consider enrolling in his alma mater, big state. The governor's given me his word. He'll do everything in his power to cut your time here short. The NC2A deadline is one week away. Two parole officers will be assigned to you. Yeah, I guess I better get working there, huh? Hello, son. What did I tell you about that stranger in the house? He's not a stranger. He's our father. I don't have a father. Look, I need to talk to you. You'll see me around. The man escaped just like Shawshank. Why beat around the bush? We love you. It's $10,000. I don't need that money, Coach. You can look like Buddy Hackett and drive down the street with this and have 40 girls chasing you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I want you to go to Big State, son. You find it in your heart to go to Big State, they may let me out on an early parole. I got that uh, arthritis thing. My brother's got the same arthritic condition. It's going around here in Coney Island. Yeah, 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 it's contagious. Why in the hell did you name me Jesus anyway? What type of name is that? Jesus, Jesus! Biblical name. No kidding. I pray that you understand why I pushed you. I was the one who put the ball in your crib. I ain't no baby no more. Dear Lord. Deliver Jesus to us. People make mistakes. People veer off the path. So what? God forgives what? them. When will you? Never. Cool. I bet he can finally beat you. One on one. And this will be the most important decision in your life. Don't blow it. Brent, you ready? It wasn't me, it was Dad! Traitor. I'm very pleased that you're interested in the coaching job, Mr. Haskins. McCarty says you're a winner. You guys are playing like girls! <laughs> We're a small college. You'd have to live in the men's dorm with your family. Hey, coach! Cool. That little boy loves that gate. I'm gonna leave him right there. How's it sound? Yeah, that's what it takes to coach Division I basketball. And... <laughs> That's all right with me. If we're going to win, we're going to have to change everything, including who we recruit. Every one of these players you're looking at, they're just playground kids. They're a bunch of guys none of the big schools wanted. I see skill. I see quick. 
That's what I'm putting on the court. Where on earth is this coach bringing us? Coach said things around here were going to be different. Taco, nacho, burrito. Now I'm looking for hot doggo. Doesn't look like he was kidding. You're here to play basketball my way, and my way is hard. You're in my office, Chuck. We do not back down ever. I will teach you teamwork. I think a white boy need chitlins. Pig intestine. I will teach you discipline. You got two weeks to get your grades up, or else. Or else what? Hey, oh, mama, who can tell me the answer? My son, Harry can. But respect? You'll have to earn yourselves. Take a look around you. This ain't Kentucky. Look at this. We ain't never gonna be like that. You quit now, you quit every day the rest of your life. You wanna shut them up, then win. From Black Disney Pictures and producer Jerry Bruckheimer. Who ever heard of Texas Western? Comes the incredible story of the team that changed the game forever. Coach Haskins is starting five black players, a first in NCAA championship history. Thank you for keeping us together, no matter what the obstacles. It's not about talent, it's about heart. It's about who can go out there and play the hardest. They're not gonna give us anything. So you gotta go out there and you gotta take it. Glory Road. From director James Gardner. What? On the streets of Richmond, they fought what? to get by. No way, you got it! Don't shoot so me, man! Struggled to get out. Doing good, bro. And if they had anything left, they brought it to the court. Your boys don't need practice, they need prison. Good afternoon, young man. Are you some preacher, man? Because God ain't gonna do you no good in this neighborhood. Leave the gym. I ain't scared of nobody, because I'll lay you out. I don't think so. Teachers ain't supposed to touch students. I'm not a teacher. I'm the new basketball coach. Now they have a choice. In Richmond, you're 80% more likely to go to prison than college. This contract states that you will maintain a 2.3 grade point average, and you will wear ties on game day. Between surviving alone. This is basketball, man. These boys are student athletes. Student comes first. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And standing together. If one man struggles, the entire team struggles. You have an incredible gift up here. Do you realize what an opportunity that is for you to get out of here? All you gotta do is have the drink. Cause I just bought that big white crib right there. My wife, Beyonce, barbecue with her G-strings on. I said dream, not hallucinate. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have six players failing at least one class. We have failed each other. You put a lock on the gym and forced them to meet you in the library. Coach Carter has taken the lockout to the next level by canceling last night's game, making it their first loss of the season. Coach thinks I can play college ball. I'm going to do that and raise a baby. What are you saying? You want out? I see no changes. Basketball's the only thing that these boys have got. Now, are we going to let Carter come in here and take that away from them? You're going to get through this. Paramount Pictures and MTV Films present... What do I got to do to play, hmm? Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. One player triumphs, we all triumph, right? Woo! We're going to finish what you started, sir. Samuel L. Jackson, Rob Brown, Ashanti. I came to coach basketball players, and you became students. I came to teach boys, and you became men. This is our time! Coach Carter. Time for us as a people to start making some changes. These six individuals have made the choice to work, the choice to sacrifice, put themselves on the line, represent you, this high school. This is your team. Hoosiers, they needed a second chance to finish first. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship game. You're not the new coach. Are you expecting somebody different? <laughs> Younger. Most incredible and improbable confrontation. Well, those of you who don't know, my name is Norman Dale. I coached college ball for 10 years, but it's been 12 years since I've blown this. In the illustrious history of the Indiana High School basketball tournament. That's a hell of a team you had there. You knew that team? 
I know everything there is to know about the greatest game ever invented. With a pint size hardly big enough for three syllables, Hickory Huskers, enrollment 64. Out of here, right now. You're kicking me out? Yes, don't come back until you learn to keep your mouth shut and listen. Take on the defending state champions, the Mighty Bears of South Bend Central. Run you off the boards. You got to squeeze them back in the paint. Make them chuck it from the cheap seats. Already calling this the game of the century. I've seen them, the real sad ones. They sit around the rest of their lives talking about the glory days. Those people from all over the Middle West are here to witness Hoosierland's version of the Cinderella story. It's got to work out this time. Now that's it for good. The starting lineup for the Husker. Boy, my boys only know basketball farming in school. A basketball hero around here is treated like a god. You know, most people would kill to be treated like a god just for a few moments. Forget about the crowds, the size of the school, their fancy uniforms, and remember what got you here. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Let's win this and for all the small schools who never had a chance to get here. I love you guys. Gene Hackman, Barbara Hershey, Dennis Hopper, Hoosiers. They needed a second chance to finish first. <laughs> <laughs>